How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is how to transition to a whole food plant-based diet. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate that. And real quick, I want to mention before I get started is I'm now doing fat loss and wellness coaching. So if you're interested in extra help, you can send me an email or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. And those links are in the description box below the video. And also my son just started a YouTube channel. He plays the piano, he's 10 years old. So I put a link to his YouTube channel in the description box as well. Go ahead and check that out if you wanna hear some nice piano music. All right, and thanks for doing that. So I wanted to make a video because I see a lot of posts on social media with people that are new to a plant-based lifestyle and they say, you know, how do we get started? What's the best way to do this? So I just wanted to make a video addressing that. And I've been eating a plant-based diet for about six and a half years. And I'm not perfect all the time, but I do a pretty good job. So I um, just wanted to give my thoughts on this. So there's really two ways you can go about doing this. One way is you could go cold turkey, where you just basically get rid of all the animal foods, all the processed foods, load up on, you know, all the whole plant foods and just dive right into it. Or you can take it bit by bit. So you can, let's say, you take it one step at a time. So let's say, you know, this month you're going to stop eating meat. The next month you're going to stop eating dairy. The next month you're going to stop eating you know, overly processed foods, sugars, junk foods like that. So you can take, you know, three or four months to gradually ease into it, eliminating certain foods each month. Or you can do it in a way where you say, okay, well, I'm gonna eat a whole food plant-based diet, and then maybe one or two days a week, I'm gonna have other foods as well. And then you can slowly ease into it until you're, you know, whole food plant-based. So different ways to do it. Now, I would recommend if you're not used to eating a lot of foods with fiber, so if you're not used to eating a lot of whole plant foods, it might be, it could be difficult to go right into it 100% because then you're going to be eating a lot of fiber and a, the foods are going to be a lot different. Your body's not going to be used to it. So you may have a harder time digesting the foods and that you could run into issues, but not everyone does. So if you're one of the people that was trying to eat a plant-based diet and you're running into issues, you might want to ease into it more slowly or introduce certain foods more slowly. Uh, you could do an elimination diet to see, you know, maybe there's certain foods that bother you and you can figure out what that is by, you know, eating certain foods, seeing how you react, taking away certain foods and seeing how you do. So there's different ways to go about it, just depending on, you know, what the urgency is, what you're trying to accomplish. You know, if there's some major health problems going on, you want to, I would recommend going into it more quickly. If you're running again running into any kind of issues you can take it more slowly so just depending on what works for your situation and um you know some other things you can do is check out the documentaries that are on the plant-based diet like forks over knives the game changers um calspiracy earthlings some of these documentaries are great to watch give you they'll give you a lot of insight uh, check out YouTube videos like my channel, for example, and many other channels with people that have been doing this for a while. They're going to have a lot of great recipes, um, you know, tips and tricks on, on how to transition. Basically, you know, try to surround yourself with like-minded people, people that, you know, are going to help inspire you and, um, you know, they're on the same page. And if, you, if there's no one in your household that's like that, then you can you know, turn to social media and join groups and get involved that way. So those are just some, some basic tips some strategies to get onto a whole food plant-based diet. Um, I have a lot of videos on my channel of recipes of what I eat in a day, um, workout routines and things like that. And it's all based around a plant based diet, as well as intermittent fasting and a healthy lifestyle. So I'm also going to show you what I recently ate in a day, just to give you some ideas of some foods you could eat to help make you feel good. So here we go. All right. So we're intermittent fasting like usual. So I started this out at noon with a smoothie after my workout. I had a bowl of frozen fruit. It was mangoes and berries. I had a banana, a glass of water, a few tablespoons of chia seeds that were soaked in water and some Marcus Roscrans Green Pro C Mix, and a couple big handfuls of mixed greens. So good way to start out with a smoothie. After the workout, there it is. So I enjoyed that at noon. 
And then not too long after that, at 1.30, I made a big bowl of oatmeal. It was two servings of rolled oats that I cooked up. I had a sliced up banana and a sliced up apple. I had a couple tablespoons of almond butter. I had some almond milk and some cinnamon. So one of my favorite oatmeals. And that was at 1.30. There it is. Try that out. Really like that combination right there. And then at 2.30, I had a peanut butter and banana sandwich that was on Dave's bread and a handful of mixed nuts. And then at 5.30, I had a big salad with uh, greens, cucumbers, carrots, bell peppers, celery, and apple. So a nice big salad there. And just after that, I made my no meatloaf lentil recipe with... um, a sweet potato hot sauce and some broccoli and here's a link for that recipe as well so thanks for watching everyone give a thumbs up if you like it and we'll be back soon bye bye